So we posted some content about how we do experimentation and how it's critical to design experiments the right way. And given that we're working on a project currently where we're actually using those skills, we thought we might share some of our learnings with you. Kavi, since you're leading the project where we're doing this uh, experimentation and trying to figure out uh, whether the hypotheses that we have can actually be validated, mm -hmm. do you want to walk us through some of your learnings on the same? Yeah, I think uh, most importantly when we first started up, it was uh, important to first of all understand how um, the general public perceives the topic we're talking about because what we, the way you communicate it is very important. Three big learnings that uh, we had from the field was uh, it's very, very important to be ready to quickly iterate um, and apply those uh, iterations quick, uh, immediately on the field because it's not always that things work. So what you assume will work when you're on the field, uh, things play out very differently. So, uh, so that's very important iteration. Uh, I would say the second thing is um, also to be able to try different things. Because um, sometimes what works in one place might not necessarily work with another. Because especially when you're working with uh, people like retailers um, sure. and working with people that you do not have that much uh, uh, sway over, they have their own businesses to run. And when you're running these rapid experimentations in, um, on the field in real time, I guess um, be willing to try new things. Like try new locations, try new people, try sure. new demographics okay so in a way almost like multiple permutations and combinations right yeah and in, especially in the context of the project that you're working on given it is the low-income audience yeah. the kind of retail stores you've been visiting as well are really hole in the wall tiny yes. outlets so i guess there is a lot that needs to be done even from basics like space yes. and what kind of collaterals and everything yes. so We've been iterating a lot on that as well, right? That's as we true. went through this process. That's true. Actually, you make a really good point. And it's very, you, you have to be mindful of your environment, even when you're designing everything that you're designing for your experiment. And finally, I guess, uh, for a long time, uh, when, we were, when, we were testing, uh, when we were testing these experiments, we were doing a lot of positive tests. Uh, at some point, we also had to switch that around and, make, uh, and create a negative test. And we've had some new learnings, right? From that itself, it's been it's been evident, especially where things like money is involved, where you're testing for money. Uh, I think a negative test is far more, um, um, what do you call it? Telling in a way, I guess. Telling. So if I hear you right, the three big things that we should take away are one, uh, be willing to explore all permutations and combinations, right? Uh, environment, location, respondent, everything, try it all, collateral, everything. The second one is positive, uh, the whole positive versus negative test. So don't be sold on a particular way of uh, testing it. Be willing to try the polar opposite if required and see what works better. And from the results of what you've been doing, I think the negative has been giving a far more impactful thing yeah. as well. So yes, be willing to uh, examine opposites. And the third and the cardinal rule for all experimentation, I guess, is iterate. Iterate. Iterate as much as you need to and can. Yeah. And remove all variables. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, yeah. thank you. I hope that's been helpful to you guys.